You know, in every corner of this world that you look at, there is pain, there is suffering, there is oppression, there is injustice towards all walks of life, whether it be the Aboriginals, the Native Americans, the Blacks, the Palestinians, the Syrians, the list goes on and on. And this is a reminder for myself, my brothers and sisters, that we as Muslims, we're not here only to be concerned about the matters of the Muslims, wherever they may be. No, our concern and our focus should always be for humanity, for the uplifting of the human race, not only for ourselves. As believers, this is our job, to care for all of humanity. Never once did the Prophet of Allah, very rare, did he ever make a prayer for himself. Rather, he would pray for all of humanity. My Ummah, my Ummah, my Ummah, my Ummah. And for years, I used to believe that the Ummah, meaning the nation of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, are the Muslims. This is so wrong. Why? Because every human being that came after the Prophet of Allah is from the nation of Muhammad You see, every Prophet and every Messenger was sent specifically for his people, except Muhammad He was sent for all of humanity until the end of time. When Allah addressed him in the Quran, He says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to our Prophet that, O oh Muhammad, we have not sent you except as a mercy to not only mankind, not only to humanity, but to the animals, to the environment, to every living thing. Our beloved Prophet was sent as a mercy. And you and I, this is our job, is to spread Islam to all of humanity, to spread mercy like he spread mercy to all of humanity. You see, my brothers and sisters, I heard an amazing statement about a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it said that he came to teach humanity how to be human, how to care again, how to love again, how to forgive again. This is Islam. Sir George Bernard Shaw, when he spoke about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what did he say? He said he's a savior for all of humanity. He said if Muhammad was to rule the modern world Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would single-handedly solve all of its problems. This is the Islam that shook the world. This is the Islam that Malcolm X, he experienced in his journey to Hajj, from his pilgrimage when he returned back to America. When he seen Islam in practice, what did he say when he returned? He said, Islam is the cure of all racism. Islam, this is what America needs to embrace. But these particular Muslims didn't call themselves white. They looked upon themselves as human beings, and therefore they looked upon all other segments of the human family as part of that same family. This is what the Albanian Muslims did when the Jews were fleeing from the Holocaust. What did the Albanians do? Did they turn them away? Like the Syrian refugees now are being turned away? Imagine people who come to you, they're fleeing, fleeing from their countries, nothing to eat. They come for shelter, they come for safety. What did the Albanians do to the Jews? They took them in and they embraced them. Why? Because this is, this is the quality of Islam. This is what it means to be a true believer, to care not only for yourself and for your kind and for your people, but rather to care for all of humanity. Allah, my brothers and sisters, in short, let me say this, that I believe that it's hatred and ignorance that has brought us into this prison that we're living in. And by Allah, it is only love and knowledge that's going to bust us out of here. And up and until we get these qualities back into our lives, I can't see change in the full future.